everyone, and welcome to the next edition of the Holland Land Office Museum's Artifact Video Series. And this week we're going to talk about maybe the most well-known artist to come out of Genesee County. Uh, and he was a member of maybe the most famous family of artists in Genesee County. Uh, so in previous uh, videos we've talked about Frank Mason and Nina Mason Booth, Frank being the father to uh, the patriarch of the Mason family and Nina being the oldest of the children and went on to have a very successful artistic career as well as supporting of the arts. But her younger brother, Roy Mason, was maybe the most well-known out of the three Mason uh, children to go on and follow in their father's footsteps. Um, now, Roy's paintings became widely dispersed and he was well-known for his uh, outdoor watercolors. And uh, we do have several pieces of his within the museum collections here that I'll show off throughout the video but we're going to uh, talk a little bit more about the life and work of Roy Mason. Roy M. Mason was born in 1886 and like the rest of his family, took to the brush with all his being. Uh, in the first decade of the 20th century, as a young man, Roy and Nina moved to Philadelphia briefly to open an advertising studio. And uh, this is where he met his future wife, Lena Seitz. Uh, she worked as a model. Uh, the three of them returned to Batavia in 1909 to open a studio at the corner of West Main and Walnut Street, and then at Main and Bank Streets. Roy and Lena would marry in 1913, and he then returned to the family business as a sales manager and art director at the F.E. Mason Seal Company that his father had started. Mason's painting career became most productive during the 1930s and 1940s, during which he would win many national watercolor awards. In 1931, he was named an associate in the National Academy of Design and in 1940 became a full member. During the 1950s, several of his outdoor watercolors were purchased and displayed in New York City, including the Metropolitan Museum of Art, which further enhanced his fame. And several of those similar paintings are here at the Holland Land Office Museum. His wilderness scenes hung in museums across the country, uh, both local and all over. It was during this time that Roy nearly lost his sight and he had to wear dark glasses to protect his eyes. Many of Mason's most famous works were done at his studio, Woodchuck Hollow, which is located on Seven Springs Road next to the Seven Springs Country Club. There, Roy was able to enjoy his favorite pastime, hunting and sharpshooting. However, in 1959, Roy left Batavia and finally settled in La Jolla, California, where he spent the rest of his days. In 1966, he suffered a severe stroke and was paralyzed for the last six years of his life before passing away on August 13th, 1972, but left his impact on the art scene in Genesee County and becoming one of its most well-known uh, artists. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of our Artifact video series and learned more about the artist Roy Mason and his importance to the art scene here in Genesee County. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to check out the rest of them on our YouTube channel, Holland Land Office Museum. And any that you like, give them a thumbs up or maybe even subscribe to the channel as it helps us out a little bit and gets you uh, notified even quicker when we do release new videos. But as always, the best way to come and learn more about the local history of Genesee County is to stop by and see us here at the museum and see everything in person, all the artifacts and portraits and paintings and everything. And we'll be sure to share even more information with you than what's included in these short videos.